there's a lot of talk about the rise of anti-Semitism at the moment. Actually, I don't think there's a rise in anti-Semitism. Jew haters are always out there and their numbers don't change. What changes is their confidence in showing their hatred openly, whether verbally or, God forbid, physically. I just got back from visiting my mother, who, Besat Hashem, will be a hundred Kanaina Hara in a couple of weeks. My mother lives in St. John's Wood, an upscale suburb just north of London's Regent's Park. It's not exactly Oxford Street on a Saturday where you could expect 10,000 pro-Palestinian protesters chicly clad with their kafirs around their necks screaming from the river to the sea, but I still weighed up whether I should wear my standard Haredi outfit of a dark suit and fedora or put on a baseball cap and become a plain-clothed undercover Jew. In the event, I decided to stand up and be counted. And I discovered something very interesting. There are Jew lovers out there. Now, I'm not going to say that they're as many as or as vocal as the Jew haters, but they're out there. In St. Johnswood High Street, there was this big black traffic cop giving out tickets who looked up at me, gave me a big broad smile and said, me and my mates were behind the Jews 110%. And then he went back to giving out parking tickets. On Friday night, as I made my way back from St. John's Wood Synagogue, I turned into a rather dark side street and saw a taxi driver getting back into his cab. He looked at me and I couldn't tell exactly what his attitude was to me, so I said, Good evening, good Shabbos, he shot back at me. I still wasn't sure whether he was being sarcastic or not, but as he drove past me, he wound down his window, gave me a big thumbs up and shouted, Israel forever! Long live Israel! The Quran specifically mentions the children of Israel over 40 times. It doesn't mention the children of Palestine even once. According to British-based Imam Muhammad al-Husseini, traditional Islamic commentators from the 8th century onward have always uniformly interpreted the Quran to say explicitly that the land of Israel has been given by God to the Jewish people as a perpetual covenant. The Quran explicitly warns Muslims not to make the same mistakes as the Jews did by not keeping God's commandments, which they understand led to God rejecting the Jewish people. And there's a similar theme in Christian scripture that depicts the wandering Jew wandering from land to land in exile from the Holy Land. Now this is remarkably similar to the reason that we sit on the ground and fast every ninth of Av. We too understand that through our many sins we've been exiled from the land. However, our belief is that God will never revoke his covenant with the Jewish people, nor will he take to himself another nation. The Medrash tells us that when God gave the Jewish people the Torah on Mount Sinai, the kings of the East and the West were aware that something cataclysmic had happened and that could destabilize their power. They felt the shaking of the earth quite literally beneath their feet, they feared another global flood, and so they inquired of the Gentile prophet Bilam what was the cause of this disturbance of the natural order. Bilam said there'd be no flood, nor would there be a deluge of fire to envelop the world. Rather, the world was responding to the momentous event of the giving of the Torah on Sinai, to which they, the kings of the East and the West, responded, Hashem oz liamo yite, Hashem yevorech esamo shalom. May Hashem bless his people with peace. That's actually the default reaction of the nations of the world. May Hashem bless his people with peace. But when we lose our connection to Torah, then they see in us no spirituality, no chosen people. They see us uh, as a choker around their neck, stifling their enjoyment of this world. They see us as a gang of killjoys because we've lost the ability to be a light to the nations, which is God's role for his people. However, when we exemplify our true heritage, the nations will always say, May Hashem bless His people with peace. <laughs>